last Thursday was a, a Toby Zobie 2. It took place at Chichi Rodriguez Golf Course in Clearwater. Um, and now here we are a week later, and I thought I'd share with you some of the moments post-golf battle between Zorilla and uh, and Toby Mack. Uh, I'll fire these quick. I, I, I realized last year I was very hard on the two of you. I set you both up with questions that were very hard to answer. So I made you look bad, you know? Yeah, you did, man. You know, it's funny, there was a comment from Toby at the very end. Uh, I'm in music, he's in baseball. Forget yeah. that. We're not, we're not engineers over here. Right. Well, there was a comment you made because you missed the Tropicana Field one, and then you said, people are going to hate me in Tampa. Nobody's ever going to come to a show in, in Tampa. And then we had three sold out. So I promised you I'd take care True of that. you. Yeah. True that. Yeah. Alright, so I'm going to do uh, uh, five for Zorilla, five for Toby, and then I've got ten yes or no's, but it'll go quicker than I've just made it out to sound. Alright, let's start with uh, uh, with Zobris. Uh, to the common man, what does it feel like to get hit with a major league fastball describing it using something from around the average house? Something in a house. Basically, you could have, if you have children, have your you know, your 12-year-old pick up a broomstick and whack you right in the thigh. Okay. You know, in the hamstring area, preferably, because that that's really usually where you get hit with that fastball. Okay, you're stronger than me because I thought you would describe like the dishwasher landing on your face. Or something like that. You went with a broomstick. It's making me feel a little insecure. Um, t- uh, Toby, uh, deep in your gut, which secretly makes you, you know, a little happier, shine a little brighter? If one of your kids shows a massive passion for music, or if you find them getting into a sport you love, which one do you like? Like if Truett was diehard basketball, would that make you a little happier than if you saw them getting a passion for music? I mean, truthfully, I go through this battle every day. Like honestly, some of my kids love music and they take to it but man I just gotta admit it you know like I, I'm a sports man at heart man and when I see you know my little boy score 12 goals in a soccer game I'm like it's on like Donkey Kong <laughs>